everyone. Welcome to Collision Hub's Cool Tools over at the 2017 NACE Auto Mechanica Show. So, John's a representative of Martin Tools, right. and um, we're here today with a couple of different tools here. So, John, why don't you show me a couple of things of what we got here that's, right. that can be used for right. aluminum and what we shouldn't touch with aluminum? Uh, basically, the key is our tools are able to work on steel and aluminum, but the big key is you got to make sure the surfaces are clean. Your hammer bases are clean, and the metal you're working with is clean. That's where the problem is. Everybody's still carrying contamination, and it's not really that big a deal. It's just you can't get it embedded into the aluminum. So as long as you keep your tools work service and your tools clean, you shouldn't have any issue. Clean. What happens if I get a, a little gouge or a nick in one of them? I should really change the hammer, right? I Correct. shouldn't be filing it. Right. You, sh you shouldn't have that connection. Like all our hammer heads are 100% heat treated, so that you shouldn't. Ha that should never be an issue. Never be an issue, right? right? Unless I'm doing something really wrong with Correct. it. Correct. Yeah. You know, or, or I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hammer. hit a big thick frame rail with this uh, with this chisel right. hammer. Um, there's a couple of different versions of the hammers, and right. we have one example here. Um, these are basically identical hammers. One's a fiberglass right. handle, one's a, what, what was it, kind of hickory wood again? Tennessee hickory. Tennessee hickory wood. And it's got a nice little feel to it. This hammer, in my hand, feels just a pinch heavier overall, but this one seems to be a little bit lighter in the handle, but I feel a little bit more right. in the head yeah. because of the fiberglass. And obviously the necking comes in a little bit uh, closer right. at the bottom there. So it's basically what you feel. The big difference is, is you can see here that these, both of these hammer heads have these waffle edges to it, which are used for what? Shrinking. Shrinking, and right. I can't shrink aluminum, no, aluminum, and I'm gonna leave marks on it, <laughs> right. so I'm gonna, use doesn't this, shrink. I'm gonna use this for what? For steel. Correct. But this one here, identical hammers, as you can see, but you notice that I now have clean Another faces, yeah. okay? So you can see here, I don't have the waffle end on here, but these are identical. These are identical, except one's a waffle and one's not. And obviously, I've noticed this too, that people have heard this before. Notice how their edges are rounded around the sides, both for steel and aluminum, because right. even with a hard edge on steel, right. you you'll can still leave a mark on correct. this. Correct, you'll still little indentions. And I saw this right. hammer here, which was really kind of interesting, and I know you've had smaller hammers that are similar to this, and I'm looking right. at this as like, this is way too big to be a door skin <laughs> hammer. No. And it's it's really kind of heavy. Right. I'll, I'll blast the door off the uh, the door stand. What's this for? What you basically, it's called the fender bumper. Basically working on fenders, reaching up into fender panels. So I want to come underneath it, or like I'm right. doing a, a bedside, I want to try and get underneath there and Correct. try and get up because I got this big, huge wheel well opening right. area. I want to try and get out. Well, I major, mean, it's a very it's not well way to fine work for major, major pushing. Major pushing, right. And you, you, you can actually hit with this side too. Correct. So you get a nice little round round edge over here that's kind of dead, or even if I wanted to put it behind something, I need a smaller area, I right. can use that as a dolly also. Now with, with, with the hammers, um, you have the dollies behind right. there a lot of times, and, and what's the best technique that we should be using um, with a hammer and dolly type technique? Now, we know we have hammer and dolly right. this way. And then, then just off. And then the off. Right. We should always start with the off. Right. Push up on the, you know, Out, the area. Outside zone. in. And, and lightly tap. You can always tap harder, but you can't untap a hard one. Right. Yeah, go slow. <laughs> go, say, slow. go slow. Same thing with the uh, the pick side of the hammer. Uh, also, watch how heavy you use with this. It's a lighter, is a little bit easier and smarter to go with. Right. Now, the I, I remember years ago I took some classes on on panel repair and right. working panels and stuff like that, and taking flat stock and turning to stuff. And we had slap hammers. Now. This spoon obviously is way too light, way too right. thin to be a slap hammer. So this is more or less what a. Uh, uh, so it's basically a spoon for doing behind cre areas, creases, and, creases, or I got to right. get into a thin area between like a fender and the fender lip, right. and I got to do a little bit of pushing, get in there, and I got to get a, an edge Correct. on on the uh, right. on the edge of a panel or something or a feature line, and I need to get in there with something to get behind there. I mean, it's lightweight. I mean, obviously they're all tempered right. steel, so they're really strong, um, and they got a, they got a pretty pretty good coating on there. Right. Yeah, now. It's all alloy, 100% U.S. made alloy steel, so all our tools are, so. And you also Especially. told us that um, you, you offer the hammers in uh, uh, fiberglass and, it, and in, in wood. wood. It, now either or, it's a break, feel thing. Now if I break a, a break a hammer, you know, handle, handle. what happens yes, now? We, we have replacement handles. So now you also have show me some cool stuff here. Now we do have some files here, and obviously right. this has to be for thicker metal. Yeah. Guys, these files that Eastwood sells are not the ones that are used for the aluminum that comes with your aluminum kit to file down the aluminum pins that you weld on. These are this is for old style metal shaping and you know when you restoration. used to, restoration right. years ago when you used to do uh, um, solder, right. you used to put the uh, solder on the side of the car. Yeah. But what you do have here is something new, and I've talked to this guys. We've talked about this before on um, on Collision Hub uh, Repair U, where um, you have a dent in the fender, you. The first thing you want to do is try and do 
uh, um, paintless dent repair type techniques. Now, they have, you guys have a couple of rods here that you're They're showing. Hands, right. You know, that, that can get in there for picks right. and stuff. And the, these are shorter ones, and right. we actually have um, one longer one. You've got right. a whole size kit of these things. And these are to get into areas to try and push some of the damage out prior to trying hammer right. off dolly techniques. But do me a favor, guys. If you're going to buy a set, buy two if you want to do steel and aluminum. Paint these right, right at the bottom or put little red handles on it. All right, I've seen guys take plastic dip. Right. You know, put exactly. the plastic dip handle on the end or wrap it with tape, just so it's, and it's, leave it in the aluminum repair area. You can right. buy just the plastic blue handles if you're comfortable with that for aluminum and keep all the wood ones for steel. That's all you have to do. And the, these kits aren't that pricey. It's not no, like you have no. to, you're breaking Fair. the bank with it. And you don't need 400 hammers. Right. You're going to have three or four hammers that buy you really once, like. So they should last you a lifetime. They should, exactly. If you take right. care of them the right way and stuff right. like that, they should last you a, a lifetime with them. Um, now, we can find this on um, Eastwood and some other Correct. companies that, right. that offer them yeah, and stuff Eastwood like has that. Everything. Eastwood has everything. And um, is there like a, 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 an 800 number or something to call them if I had an issue with something? or 1-800-MARTIN-TOOLS. Uh, 1-800-MARTIN-TOOLS. Oh, God, that's pretty easy to pretty remember. Easy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked out pretty good, all the letters yeah, are there. <laughs> hey, well, I really want to thank John from Martin yeah, Tools. Thank, I really thank appreciate you so much. it. Thank you so thank much, much for this. Hey, guys, look for more cool tools uh, uh, coming up soon. And remember, guys, we, next month we have coming up, we're going to be talking about some different pain issues at the Repair University Live. Thanks a lot again.